What is electric distribution? In any given neighborhood in this tiny corner of the globe that we call home, you might see an innocuous green box sitting unobtrusively between your home and the rest of the block. They typically look like a standard refrigerator split itself in half and decided to decorate itself in green paint and numbers and adopt a subtle but distinctly constant hum. Perhaps, as you decided to ignore the odd warnings on the side about dangerous voltages, you considered this a fortress in your youth, a bunker of defense against the imaginary antagonists that threatened your castle. Oddly enough, there would be some truth to that imagined battle. For the high voltage lines that perhaps would have served your neighborhood, your block, or even your home, were carrying the necessary energy to power your local grid. The problem lay in the sheer fact that to move the energy from generation to consumer, the electricity had to be stepped up, which meant the voltage had to be significantly boosted by transformers to mitigate loss due to resistance over long distances. But deliver the stepped up voltage to the average domicile and you blow out everything connected to the circuit. Thus was born electric distribution. What is electric distribution? Quite simply, electric power distribution is the final stage in electric power delivery. It's the last handshake between the source, electric generation, the conduit across the entire country, electric transmission, and that iPad that is running low on power. You need to plug it into the outlet in the wall, but unless the actions of several different types of transformers, transmission lines, and circuit breakers all work in harmony simultaneously, your device would be incinerated by a blast of current it was never meant to take. Electric distribution didn't really become necessary until the 1880s, when electricity started originating from power plants. The invention of the transformer in the mid-1880s allowed the boost up to avoid the costly loss of resistance to moving electric currents through conductive materials, which results in heat. As our society evolved and the nature of our consumption changed, the end point of where this power went and was used equally changed. Our agrarian beginnings created the need to move that amount of current across vast distances, powering farms and factories alike. Poles and wires began to spring up along every road and byway as we grew in our hunger and reliance for reliable power. Farms fed communities, towns sprouted and matured into cities. Each milestone along the way required us to find even more innovative ways to connect the coal plant in the next town to the new substation in the town center. Each leap in the path of where that precious power flowed led to human ingenuity to safely move that power from source to transmission to destination. We have grown as a human society to accept this. It no longer matters the source, wind, solar, coal, natural gas, or nuclear power, we simply consume. Our incredible ingenuity as a species has worked together, albeit with a few minor tribal differences, to move the energy we make across vast distances on our planet, safely and reliably to our businesses, our homes, our conveyances, and perhaps someday the way in which we leave our cradle for what is out there waiting for us. Our collective talents have discovered the way to turn one source of energy into another, change the energy to be moved across vast distances as needed, and then be reduced in safe and beneficial ways as to provide that nightlight for the next generation. That is electric distribution.